Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. I'm in the middle of a repair right now. It'll be another video. I decided to do a standalone on just this part because this is what you deal with most of the time. You're trying to shift your Ford truck, the shifter feels kind of sloppy and you're gonna end up breaking something. You know, you put your foot on the brake and you go to shift it and it's just, it's sloppy. You know, the thing is loose. I'm gonna show you what that is. All right, here we are, we got it all apart. I got the column out. It is not a big deal to pull this column, but here is what you call the receiver tube. And there's your shift lever on the bottom. It sits in there like this. Now this one, when I pulled it out, this bushing was just floating around in here like this. So this was just banging around inside the saddle. Down here is where most of the time you end up with your trouble. This lever here gets loose. These bolts back off and this one is loose. Let's see if I can get it to do it. I've taken everything apart here. See a little bit of a wiggle. That translates it into a lot out here on the end of this. And I've seen these things back out to where the bolts fall off. You'll see this gold colored bolt laying in your floorboard. There's a problem there. Find out where it went. So we're gonna tighten these things up. All right, just take them out, put a data Loctite on, and put them back in. That is 90% of the time where the problem lies, right here. Now, I have seen frequently these bushings here being loose and that translates into some slack up the column. This thing was in really bad shape because not only was this bushing out, but the shift rod up here, this is a common failure on these Ford trucks. It's the overdrive switch. It involves changing the entire lever. And you can see this one's already been changed once because, you know, uh, it's from Mexico. But that hole right there has a pin, goes down through here, holds it in. This pin, I don't think it's laying here. Here's this pin that I'm referring to. You can see this line right here, from here to here, how it's neck down. It shouldn't be like that. It should be smooth all the way down. This part goes through the bottom. It's got a little lock that you put on it. This knurl here, drives into the top. The thing goes in all the way, hits this, and you drive it on down. I think somebody actually put that little lock on the end of it because it wouldn't hold anymore because it's wore out completely. That translated into a lot of slack. So we have a new pin ordered. But check the center portion of this pin, the part that actually goes through this lever. I see these break infrequently across here. Usually it's the electric part of it that goes bad and that's why they're changing it. But I've seen these shifters break across here. This thing's got an electric solenoid that goes across right here and it uh, locks it into gear when your foot's not on the brake or locks it into park. They get bound up quite a bit. That's why they end up breaking these tubes. I've never changed the center portion of this tube, but I've changed this tube quite often. They used to be cheap. They're not anymore, but they are a dealer item, but they are cheaper than another column. Don't go to the junkyard and buy a new column to get this tube when you can just go get this tube for about uh, a quarter of the cost of the whole column. And like I say, it is not that big of a deal to drop it out. Pull the turn signal switch off of it, unplug the ignition switch that's down below and the wiring and everything off of it and drop it out lock it into gear or lock it into rotation by pulling the keys. You have to pull this lock cylinder out in order to get the upper cover off, but that's fine. Put the lock cylinder back in, turn it off, pull the keys out, and lock it into, into rotation so you don't spin the clock spring in here. This is off, so you turn this to where your bolt's sticking down, take your bolt out, then turn it back to the lock position in order to take it apart. Your wheels aren't going to turn because the truck's not going to move. But 
I wanted to do a standalone video of this part right here to show you why it's doing this. You don't have to remove anything just to tighten these bolts. You get down below, you can see them up there, torque them up. Always check that portion first before you go buying parts or anything. Nine times out of 10, you will solve all of your sloppy shifter with just tightening those two bolts. And beyond that, you can buy just those little bushings from the dealer. We called up the dealer. He had memorized the part numbers for them and they kept them in stock. So like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.